live in a time where we are constantly surrounded by noise and, and many other distractions that go out throughout the day. When I was in, in philosophy in college, I learned that the, way, the best way to study is to play music in the background, but not any kind of music. It has to be the soundtrack of movies, because the soundtrack of the movies are designed to keep your attention in one thing, the screen. So the way that the, the music is put together, the way they engineer the sounds and, and everything that fits together, makes or tricks your mind to have the attention just in one thing. So if you go to the movies, uh, you notice that at some point in the movie you feel like you're part of the movie. Even to the point when something happens you will jump and, or some, someone yells and you yell as well or whatever. You know, explosion happens and you, you jump as well. Because you get so into the movie because of the music. It is a combination of both the images that happen and the music. We are surrounded by all this noise that prevent us from hearing the Word of God. Today Jesus in the Gospel comes into the synagogue and He begins to teach. And the people say that He's teaching with authority. Of course He's going to be teaching with authority. He is the Son of God. When the scribes and the Pharisees were teaching, they were teaching on behalf of God. But Christ comes to teach as God, as the Word made flesh. Therefore, He grabs their attention. There is no need for soundtrack there. Because He grabbed their attention right away. And the people began to listen to what He had to say. And then He performs this miracle of curing this man, this man who is being um, burdened with this demon. And the people who are there, the only one who recognizes who Jesus is, is the demon. And he even confessed, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But then there is something that the demon is lacking. He lacks humility. Because although he recognizes who he is, and although he hears his voice, and he obeys the voice of Christ, but he doesn't acknowledge that Christ is the Lord. Because by calling him Lord, that means the demon has to submit to Christ. And that means that the humility of the demon has to overpower him. And that cannot happen. Today the Lord is calling us. The Lord hasn't stopped talking to us, speaking to us. But because we are so distracted with all the things that happen, we constantly say, I don't hear the Lord talking to me. I don't hear the Lord anymore. I, hear, I heard Him a long time ago, but not anymore. What we have to do is to quiet our hearts, to quiet our minds. Because let us remember that the Lord speaks to us in the silence of our heart. It is at that moment when we will hear His voice. As you know that our parish has Eucharistic Adoration from Thursday morning to Friday morning. And there's a constant flow of people that come in. There's nothing happening in the church, there's no music, there's no noise, it's just quiet. And the people that come here, they sit and they pray in silence. That's when God speaks to us. When we come from this empty church, when there's just the Lord on the altar and it's you and the Lord, then that's when you begin to enter into conversa in that conversation. That's when we hear his voice. In the midst of so many voices in our world, we can many times confuse the voice of God. And then we can begin to make up our own God. Our own conscience, if it's not well formed, it will misguide us in our decisions. We have to allow God to form our conscience. And we have to be informed of the things that we do. If we know that something is bad for us, of course it's going to take us away from our Lord. That's when we come to Him and we ask Him for guidance so that we can make or take the right decisions. Can we not just listen? We cannot just listen with our ears. 
we have to listen to, with our hearts as well. When the Lord speaks to us the words of life, and we recognize who, who He is, then we have to respond. And our response is love. That's something that this demon lacks. Love. When we hear the voice of God, and we know that He's calling us to do something in particular, then we have to respond. And out of love for our Lord and for the uh, decision of, for the plan that He has for us, we make the decision of moving forward with Him. Because of my great love for Him, I know that He's not going to lead me to things that are bad for me, but on the contrary, He's going to lead me to life eternal. There are many evils in our world as well. But we cannot overcome the evil by ourselves. We have to entrust our life to our Lord. We have to think, what's the greatest evil in my life? What is that demon that is taking me away or is preventing me from hearing the Word of God? And that demon can take many forms. Gossip. You know, lack of trust in God. Bickering, bantering, all that. Not forgiving someone. Hating someone. Try to do things in my own way, not asking God. There are many ways that uh, we can be or be taken away from the path that the Lord has for us. So today, as we sang in the gospel and the song, if today you hear His voice, Harden not your hearts. So if you hear that the Lord is calling you today to leave whatever is taking you away from Him, do not harden your heart. Follow the voice of God. Because when we follow the voice of God, when we follow the command, the will of God in our lives, the commandments in our lives, then we will be happy. Our Lord will never take us away or put us into a place where we will be unhappy. Therefore, let us listen to the word, the voice of God. And let us respond with love to that voice. And let us do the will of God in our lives so that we may receive the happiness. And at the end of our lives, we can enter into the kingdom of heaven rejoicing because we, in our lives, did His will. Amen. Amen.